Now, I'm going to transition into a fireside chat with Paul Lavalley, the CIO of Yuba County. Hey, Paul, welcome. Thank you. So, Paul, can you tell us a little bit about Yuba County before we uh, we jump into your experience with dealing with ransomware? Yeah, Yuba County is a small county, a rural county in Northern California. It's it's about 40 miles north of Sacramento, the state capital, and it's relatively small, about 79,000 citizens. That's great. Sounds like a good sized county to be, uh, be the CIO of. So, Paul, obviously you went through a ransomware attack. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about when you were hit and, and how you discovered the uh, the impact? So we we discovered it first uh, the morning of February second. Um, we got a call from our sheriff department about two thirty a.m. Uh, indicated that some of their their services weren't available. Uh, upon discovery, we we realized the initial um, indicators of doppelpamer ransomware. I got it. Obviously, you have rubric in your environment, and I know rubric was part of the recovery process. Can you tell us a little bit how we helped you in, in getting your systems back online? So yeah, we, we use Rubrik for backup of all of our server infrastructure, both virtual and, and physical. Um, and we did use it as, as part of the, the recovery process. Uh, thankfully, 100% of what we had backed up, we were able to recover. Uh, we, we used live mounts as part of some of the um, virtual server restorations, which made things a little quicker too as part, part of recovery. Uh, but it at the end of the day, it is the one protection you have against ransomware. Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. So yeah, obviously you do live mount to get recovery back online. Can you tell us a little bit how long it took to recover? I mean, obviously you probably did critical systems first and then your secondary system second, but how long it took to get, you know, 50% of your environment back, hundred percent of your environment back, just a little bit of time frame for the audience. Yeah, so so definitely, and, and th there were other things going on too, um, definitely as part of the ransomware response. Once you lock things down and are able to recover, you're also taking some time to upload forensic evidence for, for the analysis. But um, once we actually got to the point where things locked down and, and we could recover um, kind of critical systems, especially public safety systems, were back within probably a day. Um, then the next uh, group of systems took a few more days or a week to kind of recover, and then uh, other systems after that. So probably about you know 20% in, in a day, um, 40 to 50% in a week, and then the remainder in in the next couple of weeks. And, and definitely some of that was not. Um, uh, uh, rubric holding us up. It was our VMware infrastructure. It was our lack of documentation and other things. So uh, I think you know, rubric was never a bottleneck in that process. And that's great to hear. And we know you were able to recover 100% of the data we protected for you. So yeah, that's always, always great. And we and hear that all the time from customers. So obviously you went through this event. You know, one of the things we want to do at this conference is really help customers, you know, learn from uh, other experiences. So any lessons that you've taken away that you, know, you could share to help prevent, you know, the reoccurrence in your environment or, you know, there's something you could take back to their own company and, and harness the knowledge that you could share with them. Well, I think, um, you know, first having well-documented, complete recovery documentation in, in place is, is a good thing to have. Um, in our case, we did have a couple critical servers that for whatever a, a gap in our process. Um, you know, we're not backed up. If we would have had it documented, that would have, and we'd verified, we, we would have had backups. Um, it also would have helped as part of the recovery process. Uh, the other thing for us is, um, uh, since AD was used, Active Directory was used as part of the attack, um, anything organizations can do to tighten their use of Active Directory, especially for administrative accounts, um, that's an absolute need. Um, anything you can do, we, we had um, endpoint protection in place, but anything you can do to tighten endpoint protection. Um, and, and then, um, you know, finally, I think the other thing is, is understand your cyber liability insurance, uh, what, what the coverage is and what the process is to, to utilize it. All great advice, Paul. Paul, I want to thank you uh, for joining us today and sharing a little bit of your experience. And I'm gonna turn it over now to Mike Tornacosta and Mike's gonna give you the future where Rubrik's going.